The Banu al Khazraj Arabic, Arabic pronunciation, B, Enel, X, D, was one of the tribes of Arabia during Prophet Muhammad's era. The Banu al Khazraj are renowned for their generosity and hospitality. Az and Khazraj are descendants of Azd tribe and were known as Banu Kayla in pre Islamic era. Early history Abu Muhammad al Hasan ibn Ahmad al Hamdani mentioned that the Banu Khazraj and the Banu Az settled the area of Yathrib around the 2nd century AD as part of the pre Islamic exodus of Yemen because of the Great Dam damage. However, all sources agree that the Banu Khazraj and Banu Az became hostile to each other. Jewish chronicles state that they went to war against each other in the Battle of Bu'ath a few years before the Islamic prophet Muhammad migrated to Medina. There were three Jewish tribes present in Medina Banu Kanika, Banu Nadir, and Banu Kareza. During the battle, the Banu Nadir and the Banu Kareza fought on the side of the Banu Az, and the Banu Kanika were allied with the Banu Khazraj. The latter were defeated after a long and desperate battle. The Nusayba clan family of Jerusalem, custodians of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, are descendants of Banu Khazraj. They arrived in Jerusalem with the 7th century Islamic conquest. Topic: <laughs> Hijra. The Banu Aus were included in point 30 to 31 of the Constitution of Medina as allies to the Muslims, being as one nation, community with the believers. Abd Allah ibn Ubayi, their chief, is said to have plotted against Muhammad. The Banu Khazraj and others became known as the Ansar. <laughs> <laughs> Military campaigns On 624, Muhammad ordered the assassination of Qab ibn al Ashraf. According to Ibn Ishaq, Muhammad ordered his followers to kill Qab because he had gone to Mecca after Badr and invade against Muhammad. He also composed verses in which he bewailed the victims of Quraysh who had been killed at Badr. Shortly afterwards he returned to Medina and composed amatory verses of an insulting nature about the Muslim women. This killing was carried out by the Banu Aus when men of the Banu Aus tribe murdered Qab ibn al Ashraf. Some Khazraj tribesmen, including Abdallah ibn Unay, went to Muhammad and received a permission to put to death the person responsible for the killing of Salam ibn Abu al Hukaik, who was killed during the expedition of Abdullah ibn Atik. Salam ibn Abu al Hukaik was a Jew, who helped the troops of the Confederates and provided them with a lot of wealth and supplies, on the one hand, and used to mock Muhammad with his poetry, on the other. Other. When the Muslims had settled their affair with Banu Qurayza, al Khazraj tribe, a rival of al Az, asked for Muhammad's permission to kill him, which Muhammad accepted, in order to merit a virtue equal to that of al Az who had killed Qab ibn al Ashraf. The Nazras in Granada In 1228, Ibn al-Amar gathered the remains of the Muslim population cornered in Granada and established al-Memlika al-Nazriya derived from the Ansar of Medina whom the Nazras trace their lineage to. With the Reconquista in full swing after the conquest of Córdoba in 1236, the Nazras aligned themselves with Ferdinand III of Castile, officially becoming a tributary state in 1238. The state officially becoming the Kingdom of Granada in 1238. The Nazras had to turn their backs against the Muslims of Córdoba and Seville in order to survive the reconquest. Initially the Kingdom of Granada linked the commercial routes from Europe with those of the Maghreb. The territory constantly shrank, however, and by 1492, Granada controlled only a small territory on the Mediterranean coast. Arabic was the official language, and was the mother tongue of the majority of the population. Granada was held as a vassal to Castile for many decades, and provided trade links with the Muslim world, particularly the gold trade with the sub-Saharan areas south of Africa. The Nazras also provided troops for Castile while the kingdom was also a source of mercenary fighters from North African Zanata tribes. However, Portugal discovered direct the African trade routes by sailing around the coast of West Africa. Thus Granada became less and less important for Castile and with the unification of Castile and Aragon in 1479, those kingdoms set their sights on conquering Granada and Navarre. 
On January 2, 1492, the last Muslim leader, Muhammad XII, known as Bobdil to the Spanish, surrendered complete control of Granada to Ferdinand and Isabella, Los Reyes Catalicos, the Catholic monarchs, after the city was besieged. See Nasra dynasty for a full list of the Nasra rulers of Granada. The most prominent members of the dynasty were Muhammad ibn al Hamar, died 1273, the founder of the dynasty. Yusuf I, 1334 to 1354. Muhammad V, 1354 to 1391, builder of the royal palace within the Alhambra. Bobdil of Granada, the last of the line, who surrendered in 1492 to Ferdinand and Isabel and was given the Alpujarras Mountains to rule to the east of Granada, although he left for Tlemcen in Algeria. Topic: <laughs> People. Abd Allah ibn Ubayy, chief Saad ibn Ubada, the chief of the Khazraj Hassan ibn Thabit Ubay ibn Kab Abd Allah ibn Rawaha Asad bin Zarara bin Adz Habab ibn Mundir Anas ibn Malik Al-Bara ibn Malik Saad bin Ar-Rabi bin Amr Rafi bin Malik bin al Ajalan. Al Bara bin Maror bin Sakar, Abdullah bin Amr bin Haram, Ubada bin As Samit bin Kais, Al Mundir bin Amr bin Kune. Topic. See also. Islam. List of expeditions of Muhammad. Topic. References. <references>